watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a Rough Rider. This one comes in this golden brown box. This is a 25 year box. You've got the little blurb there about the 25 years of Rough Rider. Back to back R logo here. On the reverse you've got Rough Rider website information. And here we have the country of origin China and a cancer warning. We're going to be looking at model number RR053 so pretty basic packaging there and here is the knife so this is a 3 and 5 eighths inch Congress from Rough Rider we've got four blades on this one amber jig bone handles we'll take a look at the outside before we get into the blades so we've got jigging pattern here I've always liked Rough Riders jigging on their bone and I think that's a really attractive jigging pattern has a very good color transition so they dye it really well and it goes from a sort of a tobacco brown color into a more amber color a little darker in the middle but we have a nickel silver shield here this is what I call the bow tie shield from Rough Rider you got rough on the left and rider on the right spelled with the Y and then you've got the square in the middle there with the diamond and then inside the diamond the back-to-back -back R. Nickel silver bolsters on either end and they have a thread. And then you've got brass pins, three brass pins here holding it together. Transitions seem very well done. The inlay is really well done on the shield. And only just a small amount of feel to that center pin which is pretty normal for jigging pattern where you have a lot of kind of peaks and valleys there just can feel the center pin just slightly color matching is really good if you flip the knife over we have a wonderfully matched handle on the back just a, without the shield transitions here are also very smooth not filling the pins at all on this one this side so really well done fit and finish no edginess to the top if we look at the bottom, I'm not feeling any major stepping between the springs and the liners. So you've got stainless liners and brass, sorry, brass liners and stainless springs on this guy. A little bit of stepping down into the corners where the handles meet, but it's not too bad. Pretty light. And if we examine here, looks like we do just have a minor minute of gapping here. I'm really having to search for it right about there pretty minimal otherwise nothing major so that's really good again this knife is eleven dollar sixty nine cents on chicago knife works so just kind of give you the uh... idea of the price range we're dealing with here but i'm pretty happy with the fit and finish on this one they did a good job there's no edges just all across those liners at the top either inside the tangs inside those bolsters yeah that they, they all feel really good there so there's your down view view see how all the four blades are kind of tucked in there you've got the two sheep's foot on the interior the pin blade at the front and then the coping blade at the back so again four blades well I had that reversed but so you got the the uh, pin blade in the front and the coping blade in the back from the show side so let's take a look at those blades let's first look at the two main blades which are on the interior so you can see those two sheep's foot blades are identical. These are made from 440A stainless steel. You've got match strike poles here, RR tank stamp, and mirror finish polish on the blades. Again, you flip it over, you can see those are identical. You've just got the nail neck in the front, the nail neck in the back. Here's the pile side. So this knife blade, the blade here on the right will be the main blade, I suppose, since it has the model information on it so there you can see rr053 china below it and then if we look at the top here the old style little etching there that tells you it's 440 razor sharp steel now it's 440a doesn't specify the a but that's what it is so we have a pretty good snap on the blades i'd say about a five that's pretty decent for a smaller knife you uh you typically don't get quite the snap with the smaller blades on the smaller knives but it snaps in there nicely it's not rubbing on anything so they've constructed that well 
Just shut up a minute and let you guys listen to the action. And pretty similar over here on the other side. So if we measure one of these blades, I'm not going to measure both because they're identical. But you have uh, just over slightly, slightly over two, eight in, two inches here at two and an eighth. And then the cutting edge of one and three quarters. So there are your sheep's foot blades. Now on the front, like I say, you've got the pin blade. Just a small little spear style pin blade. Match strike pull again, again with the RR tank stamp on it. Match strike pull, as all of these blades will have. So look at the blade edge on that one. And if we look at the reverse, pretty similar, not too far off. Pretty small blade here. With the tang, we've got one and three quarter inches, and then you got a cutting edge of about, well, let's call it one and three eighths, I guess. Not quite. Uh, one and a half. Good snap on this one too. Say it's right in that five to five and a half range. Snaps in there pretty decent. Snaps close really well. Okay, so then our final blade is the coping blade. Kind of a unique blade. You don't see this on a lot of knives. It's pretty consistently on Congress knives. So one of the few places if you like coping blades you can you almost be sure to pick one up. So again, match strike pull, and you again get that uh, RR tank stamp. So it's on all four blades. Let's look at the blade edge. Pretty decent consistency there. And uh, if we check the lock up, good snap both directions. So again, happy with that. So this is just a pretty well built knife, and you know, for uh, having four blades, you don't have any of that that rub you might associate with a stockman. So, yeah, they've done a good job with the little bit of uh, bending of the blades that they need to to make them all kind of fit in there, and that they've done a good job of constructing it. So I'm pretty happy with this knife overall. I think it's a great value for twelve bucks. Now the thing about the Congress is I've kind of gotten more attached to it over time because it's just one of those patterns that I, I didn't really appreciate as much in the beginning. And the more I've learned about it, the more I've begun to like it. It's got a very rich Southern history to it. And when they were making them, them in New York, they were almost exclusively shipped down south during the antebellum time prior to the war. And they were a pretty common knife among Southerners. Uh, used for whittling um, and also for cutting plugs of tobacco. These nice small blades makes for a really nice whittling knife. So I can see that. And uh, they're also famous knife for having been on Abraham Lincoln when he was assassinated. I think his was a little larger than this, like a three seven eighths inch. But they do come a little larger and smaller. So sort of in the middle of the range of the sizes. Of course, the case pattern that they've recently released for their vault pattern is in three and an eighth inch, and they offer that in a two and four blade option. I think the four blade is probably the most common, but they even offer six and eight blade options. I've never seen an eight blade, but I have seen six bladed options. But uh, yeah, really good... Uh, really good knife and uh, if you're a southern boy like me kind of appreciate the you know the history of knives like this and uh, you know you're a southerner this is this is a knife you should consider because uh, you know your great great grandpa probably carried one of these around if he was in the southeast United States during the uh, the time of the day for uh, the Civil War, you know, 1830s or so. So, yeah, really cool, uh, really cool knife. And I'm happy to have another example. Probably going to be picking up some other Congresses as well, but this is a really good value. If you're uh, not wanting to spend the money you want on a case knife, then this is probably a good option for you. 
But that's going to do it for my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, $11.69 at Chicago Knife Works, 3 and 5 8 inch handle on Amber Jig Bone from Rough Rider. That's going to do it for me. We'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Take care.